Hello, and welcome to The Daily Gas for July 6th, 2024, called XV- by Clover. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits separated by an X, sum to 10. Digits separated by a V, sum to 5. All possible X's and V's are given. If there's not an X or a V, there isn't, then the digits don't sum to 10 or 5. So this might feel uh, very familiar to a puzzle that we did uh, three days ago now. And uh, I, I guess uh, the, the backstory here is that uh, Clover had gotten some, uh, some feedback about her previous puzzle. And uh, she was told it was lacking, you know, five, six, seven, eights, and nines. So uh, here we have a puzzle that is definitely not lacking in those digits. The same exact concept. If we do not see V, which we don't, then any set of two cells are not allowed to sum to five. So even though there is no Sudoku re reason why one and four couldn't go next to each other, by this XV minus rule, we can't have that happen. The same thing applies for 10. We cannot have a two here or here, not bec because of any Sudoku reason, but because of the X minus this doesn't have an x between it, so it may not sum to 10. And that's it. Those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. All right. So given that we have lots of 9s, 8s, 7s, 6s, 5s, you know, let's, um, let's do some Sudoku with them. Right off the bat, I am seeing that we can place 9 here. 9... 9 can be placed here, and hmm. all right, x-wing on 9s, I'm not, I'm not seeing it, so 8s, 8s, let's see if we can't do something with that, that gives us 8 here, 8 goes, all right, maybe we have, maybe we have an x-wing on 8s again, just like we had the x-wing on 9s, it seems so, all right, 7s, Seven goes here. Seven goes here. Another set of X wings on the opposite side of the board. So I guess our seven is our eight corollary. Six. Six is our nine. So six goes here. Six goes here. And then we have an X wing. So once we start to place the lower digits, we'll probably be able to restrict that more. Just like in the previous puzzle. Can this be 1, 2, 3, or 4? No, because then it would sum with its respective pair to 10. So this must, in fact, be 5, which means all of these are 5s. That gives us 5 here, 5 here, 5 here, and finally 5 here. So that is all of our 5s in a nice little spiral pattern. So I guess if we can't resolve our X wings, then what we need to do is consider... Yeah, I'm just making sure. It looks like we can't. So we need to consider our low digits. We need to consider our low digits. One can't go here. Two can't go here. Three can't go here. Four can't go there. So what that does is it gives us a set sets of pointing pairs. So for example, since one can't go here, it must only be able to go in these two cells, which points down the column. Which, because of the nines here, places one somewhere here, which places one somewhere here. Hmm. One here, one. Ah, okay, sorry, I've completely missed this. The center box, one, one, this must be one. So now where does two go? Where does four go? And then this must be three. Easy enough, two, four can't restrict those and then one three not restrictable either here obviously if nine went there that would give us some information but not quite not quite two one nothing three four nothing oh but it's roping wow i've completely missed that three four 
must go up here, right? So that means this must be 3, 8, 4 across. This can't be 4, 8 because of the 6. So it must be 3. Four, 8. Do we actually have something similar over here? 4, 8, 1, 7, 2. This can't be 1 or 7, so it must be 2. All right. Oh, and okay. And the one that we were looking at before gives us one here, seven here. Okay. 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 So now, so now, how do we place three and four? Of course, let's not forget our five pairs. Our five pairs are going to cause us problems. Three, two can't be next to each other. Three and four, right? They need to be careful about where we line this up. So now, uh, this must be 1, and then 4, 4 must go here, which places 4 here, and 8 here. Now, 1, 3, where does 3 go? 3 must go here, which places 1 here. That is a 3 in the corner. Do we have double? No, we can't have double 3s in the corner. Very sad. We do get three here, though. One gets placed here. This is two. This is four. I should probably finish out my two and my four here as well. Now, I guess I should have realized seven, six, seven, six, eight, nine. The same pattern will give us the these in a similar pattern. I guess not. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, does it? I guess it could be flipped. Huh. I'll have to think about that. Anyways. Let's not get distracted here from the column. We're still missing, what, 8? And now, is that all our 8s? That is all of our 8s. So 7s, sevens, sevens are able to be completed here. 6s, hmm, 6, 9, still, still not resolvable here. What is this across? 3, 4, and 6. Well, I guess we know that this can't be 3, because then this would be a 4-6 pair. So 3 has to go somewhere here, and we know where 3 goes. This must be 3. Now with 4-6, four, six, oh, 6. 4-6 six, from the column, we're missing 2. 1-6. Um, 1-6 one, six. One, six here, because of the 6 here. Across, we need 3 and 4. 4-3, four, where do we place 1 and 2? Two? 2-1, two, I guess also Sudoku. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ah, one, one, three, one, places one there. And we are almost done. Across, we need four, nine. And four can't go next to six, so this is nine. This is four. Uh, that gives us our nine here. This is two. We're still missing two from here. And then we need three and four. And we are done in 6 minutes and 33 seconds with x v minus by Clover. Definitely helped seeing a quite similar puzzle a few days back. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.